So here we have a truly immaculate three bedroom mid terrace property with a porch extension and a fantastic garden looking out onto green space. What you can also see is down behind that green space, we have bungalows. So when you're in the garden, it doesn't feel overlooked at all. As we continue around, you can see that green space continues to the Primrose Nature Reserve. And we've got some nice walkthroughs so that cuts down by the side of the brook and you come along into more green space where we also have the Forest and Sandridge School. We have the Water Meadow Pub, Co-op Shop, Food Outlets and Vets. As we continue on round, we then come round to Blackmore Road. And on top of there, you can find a further co-op. That's around about a five minute walk away maximum. We then look across all of the residential properties and you can see up towards Sandridge Road at the top there. As we continue around, we come round to the town park, which can be reached along a nice green walk right alongside the park. We have Rivermead School there and another green walk will take you down into town in around about 10 to 15 minutes as we come back to the rear of 22 Mills Road. So here we are, we're starting in the porch as we look round. So this is an extension, you can see it extends right the way down, some lovely flooring, finished to a beautiful standard. We've got new windows in here. You can see a lovely composite front door with the satin glass and we've got those two panels down the side. Plenty of storage and then you see we're coming on through and into the living room. So we've got the stairs straight away in front of us, under stairs storage cupboard. Down behind you see there is space for a unit should you want. As we pan around to the right, we've got this fantastic space as it opens up. And you can see we've got two sofas in here. We've got the window out to the front with built-in blinds, radiator below, and of course we've got the television unit down in the corner. There you go, you can see the blinds and out towards the enclosed front garden. As we pan around from here, and you can see where it opens on down through to our dining room. We've got bifold doors down there too. And you can also see the opening through to the kitchen. You can see that storage a little better there. As we come around, we'll pan right the way from the front. Continuing along, see all the space we have here and then through into the dining room. We've got a new radiator just down there in the corner. And you see we have an eight seated table in here at the moment. And of course got all the light flowing through from the bifold doors there. As we pan across once again, you can see through to the kitchen a little bit as two. And you'll go see that we have the built-in blinds there for the bifold doors also. Coming into this newly fitted kitchen, so we have an integrated fridge freezer, moving along to an integrated uh, grill microwave, and then we've got a electric fan assisted oven. We've got the wine rack coming down, we've got a nice lot of space in the corner. As you move around, we've got some pan drawers along with a five ring gas hob as a pull out extractor at above. We've got inset LED lights. As we continue around, we've got an integrated washing machine, integrated dishwasher, and even an integrated tumble dryer. You can see the tile splashback. We've got porcelain sink unit with single drainer and mixer tap. Once again, windows with the built in blinds as we pan across. And from here, I'll give you a quick look out into the garden, but we're going to head on upstairs. As we come on to the landing, see we've got plenty of space for a unit there. We've got the bathroom directly in front of us. Then we've got two double bedrooms to the side with a cupboard in the middle. And as we pan around towards the front, we have the smallest bedroom. That is where we are going to start. So it's a small bedroom, but pretty decent size. We've got space for a unit there. We've got a single bed just down here in the corner. Although this space we have next to the radiator here and the overstairs storage cupboard is big enough to put a double bed in should you want to, or a sofa bed. There's our view out to the front. And if we tuck down here, we've got the new radiator. Of course out there is where we have our garage just to the front of the property also. As we come on through, we're then coming through into bedroom number one. So largest of two, got a dressing table, built-in wardrobe in the corner. You see we've got the double bed with units either side. 
Of course, you've got those new windows and radiator down here too. As we pan around, you'll notice you also have a wall-mounted television with all the points down behind the TV, so no sight of any wires. There we go, as we pan across, same view out to the front from the third bedroom. And then we're coming on into bedroom number two. So you see we have a large amount of built-in storage, we'll continue all the way down the right-hand side just there. We've got the double bed in the middle and nightstands either side. As you come to the far end here, you can see we've got another built-in wardrobe and space for a dressing table there. Of course, new window and radiator down the far end here. As we continue to pan around, of course, you can see back through to the landing. And of course, we're looking out over into our garden. But we'll finish off internally by coming on into the bathroom. So once again, finished through a beautiful standard just like the rest of the house. We've got vanity wash hand basin with storage under, close couple WC. We've got mirrored units above. Of course, you can see we've got instant LED lights. We've got window to the rear, once again with the built-in blinds. Below, we've got a heated towel rail. We then have a P-shaped bath, glass screen. You see the tile splash buttons going on from the bath all the way to the ceiling. And as we come around, we see we have mains tap and then we've got the separate shower above. And that also has a hand shower attachment. And there you go, you can see out into the garden where we're going to head next. So we're stood out on this lovely deck area. We can see it is covered. We've got plenty of space for table and chairs. You see we even have an egg chair here in the corner. If we come on down to the end, it then takes us down to a patio and then leads on to the lawn. Before we make our way on down, you can see there, there's a better view of that six seated table and all the space we have. In fact, you just have further space for seating on the patio. Of course, it's fully enclosed here. As we come on down, plenty of space on the lawn. And of course, the patio extends down the rear where you have space for a shed. And of course, we're stood down here and you cannot see any of the properties behind us. Those bungalows are such a distance away and we've got that nice green space. As we come on down into the corner and panning across from here, lovely and private. You see there is an external gate there. And of course, we have a nice bit of storage. That's going to finish the day for 22 Mills Road.